will get a new education later next week. Republican Tony Bennett is out and Democrat Glenda Ritz will take over. The battle over education dollars and issues is expected to get heated as the legislative session kicks off in the state house. RTV6 reporter Rafael Sanchez sat down with Bennett before his departure. He joins us now from the RTV6 studios. Rafael. Erica and Todd, good evening. Tony Bennett will definitely be a polarizing figure. He'll tell you that he was polarizing. Teachers and public school officials either loved him or hated him. And despite those feelings, Bennett always has been candid and consistent on his positions, even if it meant losing the election. I have to put Indiana in my rearview mirror and I have to put Florida in my windshield. Tony Bennett is focused on moving forward and leading Florida's public schools. His record of reforms in Indiana, which captured the interest of the nation, also antagonized public school advocates who believe Bennett was draining funding from public schools to bolster private education. It had a negative intention, and though I was some draconian force wanting to destroy the, the pillar of public education, and nothing was, nothing was more removed from the truth. Despite a chorus of criticisms, Bennett championed what no other state superintendent had done in placing academically failing schools under state control, pushing a new A through F scale to grade school performance, new teacher evaluations tied to merit pay, and vouchers allowing thousands of kids to attend the school of their choice. Every parent should have the right to send their children to the school that meets their child's needs, and I, I believe when we get to that point in education, we're going to be getting it right. The voters rejected Bennett after four years on the job. Incoming schools chief Glenda Ritz has her own agenda that looks nothing like his. If it were not for a Republican supermajority in the state house, Ritz would more than likely dump the initiatives Bennett believes will pay off for Hoosier school children. I wish the best for Glenda Ritz. I have no animosity that she won the election. I have no animosity about anything she's done. I frankly hope she is very successful. I firmly believe that no one will fault the policies. Our policies are the right policies for Indiana children. Bennett's office is now bare. He must be out by Friday afternoon. Come Monday, a new school leader and a new governor will either collide or collaborate on setting education policies. I think I went into this eyes wide open knowing that if we did what was right, um, we would upset the apple cart enough that, you know, we could have a mandate against, against me. And now I think that's what happened. Now, Bennett considered several jobs before taking the one in Florida. And Erica, they will, there in Florida, he will serve at the pleasure of the Board of Education and Governor Rick Scott. Raphael, what were some of his thoughts on some of the school-related bills popping up at the State House? Well, I had a long list of those, Erica. Despite his religious beliefs, he doesn't support the bill that would require the, the start of the school day begin with prayer. Though he does support the expansion of vouchers, and he does also support the review of security efforts at all school buildings in light of the Connecticut shooting. 